we're going to do these four examples of confirming that a given vector is an eigenvector of a given matrix, and we'll find the corresponding eigenvalue. Link in the description to my lesson where we go over eigenvectors and eigenvalues if you need to review. Here is the definition. We know that X is an eigenvector of a matrix A if the product AX produces a scalar multiple of x. So jumping into problem one, to confirm that x is an eigenvector of a, we will look at the product a times x and check that this does indeed produce a scalar multiple of x. Whatever that scalar is, is the eigenvalue. So beginning to multiply a times x, we have this product, we begin by matching this row with this column, and that's going to give us 1 plus 0, so just 1. And then this row gets matched with this column, and we get 0. So indeed, x is an eigenvector, because we see multiplying x by a produces a scalar multiple of x. In this case, that scalar is actually just 1. So 1 is the corresponding eigenvalue. We can write that a times x equals 1 times x. Multiplying x by this matrix A has the effect of just not changing x at all. Same idea in this next example. We will multiply the matrix A by the vector x, and this should produce a scalar multiple of x. That will confirm that indeed x is an eigenvector, and whatever that scalar is, is the eigenvalue. So beginning to do this matrix multiplication, we have this row matched up with this column. That's going to be 5 minus 1, so 4. And then this row with this column, that's going to be 1 plus 3, so 4. And yes, this product is a scalar multiple of x. It's easy to see that it's 4 times x. So lambda, the eigenvalue, is 4. We could write that a times x equals 4 x. Multiplying x by this matrix has the effect of just multiplying x by 4. Next we have a 3 by 3 example. The idea is the same. We'll take the matrix A, multiply it by the vector x, and this should produce a scalar multiple of x, which will confirm x is an eigenvector of A. Going through this multiplication, we have this row matched up with this column. That's going to be 4 plus 1, so 5. Then row 2 matched up with this column. That's going to be 2 plus 6 plus 2, so 10. And then we have this row matched up with this column. That's going to be 1 plus 4, so 5. And interestingly, we can see that multiplying x by this matrix A has had the effect of just multiplying x by 5. So the corresponding eigenvalue here is 5. We could write that a times x equals 5 times x. Again, in each case, we're confirming the given vector is an eigenvector by showing that when we multiply it by a, we just get a scalar multiple of itself, which is unusual. If you just pick a random vector and multiply it by a, you're probably not going to get a scalar multiple of that vector. But with x, we do get a scalar multiple of x, and that's why it's an eigenvector. All right, one more example. Again, we will multiply the matrix A by the vector x and check that we get a scalar multiple of x. Doing this matrix multiplication, we have this row matched up with this column, which is just going to be 4. And then this row matched up with this column is going to produce 0. And then this row matched up with this column will also produce 0. So we see the vector x, when we multiply it by a, has just been quadrupled. It's just been multiplied by 4. So the corresponding eigenvalue is lambda equals 4. We could write that a times x equals 4 x. That's how to confirm that a vector is an eigenvector and how to find the corresponding eigenvalue. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh. 
I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind. Two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together, like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.